Since humans can't see air, mm -hmm. can fish see water? Hey, it feel right. Don't it. Yeah, bro, there's bubbles. They see bubbles, bro. You That's see air. Do they see the water? Okay. No, because we can see bubbles too. <laughs> yes, good point. Bro, bubble that's crazy. Bubbles on air are just opposite they bubbles. Flip -flop, they're flip-flop. They're flip-flop. It's the yin yang theory. Bubbles underwater are, are just air. air. But bubbles, for us they're water. They're water. <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, that is crazy. <laughs> is that part of the Pythagorean theorem? That's that's serendipitous. Can fish see water? Can no. they can they see water? That's what I'm saying. Can they see it? If we can't if see air. If you pull them out of water and they look down, they can, can definitely fish see, see the can water. Can fish see air? No. That's Bro, stupid. fish can see air. Fish cannot see air, Nick. Fish can see air? No, they cannot. They can't see water. They can see water. When they're in the water, they can't see the water. But if you pull a fish out of the water and it's like dying for its last breath and it's looking down at a puddle, it's going to be able to see it. But if it's in the water, look it up. It's not going to be able to see air. Maybe the sun. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, if a fish is in the water, Nick, do you think it, that, do you think it can see water when it's in the water? This rolls into my next question. How do you feel about doorknobs? <laughs> Overrated. I'm, no, I think, they're, I think they're fairly rated. Doorknobs. Yeah, I mean they're pretty important. I think the I think the pulley push you system's a lot better. You I'm more of a rotating door guy myself. Just spring spring the hinges. You don't need doorknob. You can still lock it. Doorknobs overrated, dog. I mean, I think it's properly rated. Doorknobs. Yeah, the, you don't need them. The grab and turn, right? You don't need a doorknob, bro. You, yeah, but you but you don't not need a doorknob. Says who? The general population, dog. You just going with the flow. What do you mean I'm going with the float, bro? It's a door. It's, it's, it's like they made the wheel, they made sliced bread, and they made a doorknob. One, two, three. We still don't need bread. So. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> bro, doorknobs are overrated. Can you, bro, can you imagine slicing your own baguette? I don't like you, you eat it. Uh, you eat it from the side. What if you're gonna make a PBJ, you dog? Get a side bite. You gonna make a PBJ ba out of a baguette? Yeah, dog. That's what it would be. A PBJ baguette. That's what it would be. A loaf of bread? No, that's a loaf of bread. Ain't no baguette. It's the same thing. A baguette is it made in Italy. It's French. The French one is. Oh, a baguette. Yeah. Baguette's just harder bread, right? Is that like... Wait, is a baguette just like a... Female bag? <laughs> like a dude and a dudette and a bag and a baguette? Is that... Am I tripping? You're tripping. It's definitely not. No, I feel like... So bread, bread is gender neutral? Yeah, I think, that's, I think it's a fair statement. Okay. Would you... If you had to slice your own bread, what kind of, what kind of sword or weapon are you using? I probably would go, I'll probably heat up a piece of metal. You know what I'm talking about? Like a piano string. Wrap it around your fingers, heat like it a up. a coil? You heat it up and you just melt through the bread and it. you don't got to cut it. You don't even need serrated edges. You're just heating up a, a metal, I'm just a metal on, string. On, on, later, like a guitar string. Later when you have shoulder problems and you can't figure out why. <laughs> it's, all, it's all this making bread. No, dude, I, th I think that, like, I think I would just buy a miniature guillotine. Sorry? And then you a would bread just guillotine. Yeah. They got them. I know they got them. Do they? They got them. Bro, they, I'm about they, to start slicing my own bread. You got to buy the guillotine. That's kind of that's kind of cool, to be the honest. Bread that's kind of dope. I've seen some things in Germany, because they're really big, big about their bread. They really take it pretty serious. They got... They're like bread. They got, like, a giant pizza cutter uh -huh. with a handle on it. All right, yeah, so imagine peep, peep me. Cutter. No, peep me. You got this? Yeah, yeah. And then you got one thing you can set your thickness to. For the blade? For the for the pizza cutter blade, right? You can have a thicker blade? You go, you can set it. You you set it, and then you push your bread towards it, and you turn the wheel, and you can pick your thickness of your slice. And you just take your bread, and you push it as you, and it cuts your bread. You put the next piece, 
Next piece, and it's slicing like your a bread. cheese grater. Not a grater. Like same premise, though. Maybe a less than. 